Thomas here with MuchProps, gonna give you another how-to video. This time we are going to be using our Cricut again. Um, I told you in the last Cricut video that my wife is awesome, uh, in case you didn't already know that, but I was thinking what else could I make other than vinyl transfers for t-shirts, uh, and it kinda just came to me. I've been making some spray paint videos here and there, and just kinda was a no-duh why don't I make a stencil for spray painting? So we are going to paint slash spray paint slash stencil make uh, in this video. So let's get to Cricut slash paint slash spray paint.
finished. Here is the end result. Pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I, I made one small just to kind of test out this um, concept. Here we go. I found the image on the person's Facebook, put it on a program called Lunapix. There's a link below to it. Uh, it's basically the poor man's Photoshop. It's a free software you can get to online. Uh, and I ran a filter on it. I believe I used the monochrome filter um, to get this stencil. I believe in Photoshop it's called a cutout on the filters. Um, but anyways, sidetrack. Got that and then put it into Cricut Design. Then from Cricut Design, I printed out the stencil, painted the canvas, kind of an abstracty, whatever you want to call that. Then simply spray paint it over the top of that. And this is the end result. Super easy, something that someone who's not so great at painting could do. You could even do layers of them and build up a actual better looking image, I guess. Um, maybe you will get some and inevitably they're gonna ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these and tell them much props. What do you think, Bob Ross? I think it's super cool. Maybe you could put a little mountain right there, and a little bird, maybe a cloud. I don't know. Mm -hmm.